hello guys welcome to this tutorial so this is the continuation part of the selenium framework development in the last section we had seen what are the types of framework okay and we had a brief introduction or information about each of the framework that are being used heavily nowadays in the industry okay so in this section we'll be discussing or we'll try to understand what are the components that we are going to use as a part of framework development okay how each and every components are interrelated on a high level we try to understand that and what is the flow of the framework okay in which flow framework will be executed what will be triggered how it will be triggered how the each and every components are interlinked or you know um, connected we'll try to understand this one so this is a very uh, important concept that we are going to discuss today because in the interviews right it is a frequently asked question is it among one of the frequently asked questions basically can you, you know give a breakup of a component of the framework whatever you have used in the industry so this question can is you not know, coming nowadays very heavily like so can you explain your framework can you tell me the flow of the framework or can you tell me the what are the core components what are the all the components that you are using or that you are involved with the framework right so this is this is the part that will help you help you guys to figure it out actually okay so the part or the framework here will be you know focused on page object model okay there are two different type of page object model that are being used nowadays or has been seen you know, nowadays one is classic page object model another one is you no know, advanced page object model so here as a part of this series we'll be developing an advanced page object model okay where we'll be will not be using you no know, by default page factory concept we'll be developing it you no know, and we'll see how we can implement it or how we can make more you know robust how we can make a wrapper over it so that our things and code gets more robust and more usable more maintainable actually so in this series we'll be concentrating on advanced page object model and i'll be creating another series okay concentrating fully on classic page object model okay using page factory and all okay so in this framework we'll be using an id called eclipse okay a build tool called maven okay an unit testing framework called testng okay these are the high level component or tools that we are going to work with okay and here we'll be setting up a project using maven we'll integrate unit testing framework that is testng with maven and will write first the core components or core framework architecture okay we'll write those things first of the module first which you can see in the left hand side i'll discuss one by one and after this core components are developed we'll develop supportive framework components okay or we'll alter them to plug in or attach or to work together with the core component okay let's see what are the core components i have flow listed down here okay there might be a couple of you no know, changes or alteration there might be a couple of alteration depending on the you know, de demoing part as well but we'll on a high level this will be the structure okay one is the configuration module our configuration module will talk about the configuration what are the things uh, application configuration pro like application properties what are the browser you need to work with all the configuration basically right so what are the what is the url of the application what is the browser you're going to talk about is it you are achieving trying to achieve parallel execution or sequential execution oh, by the way we'll be talking about here we'll be developing a framework so that uh, it can run sequentially one by one okay single instance and we'll be uh, also implementing the concept of parallel execution okay and along with the remote execution we'll try to cover the grid part as well same here okay 
okay one is configuration module let's come back second part will be developing a module called data handler okay because there are need while well, you need to work with multiple data source like pdf excel csv ml properties file okay and databases so i'll be showing you now the common data handler what are no use actually i'll be writing the code for them okay next next module is like page modules like as i discussed in the last video section as well the part two if you don't if you haven't seen that part two i will request you please go back and have a look at my last video so that you can have an understanding what is page of the model and how it works so let's uh, come back to the current you now discussion page we'll be discussing page modules actually so here we'll be writing the page functionalities validations method we'll be writing the different uh, locator concept using interfaces okay and how they're connected so all this stuff we'll be developing next we'll be developing module related to wave action helper basically so all the wave action that needs you know in a day-to-day -day basis while working with a application automation of application right drag and drop mouse hovering javascript click single click uh, focus on some I mean, element no scrolling scroll up uh, zoom and zoom out all this type of you know action helper will be there okay then there will be common util modules like there will be listeners okay you will be implementing listeners and will be performing some sort of operation I'll, I'll show you how to use them okay and there will be driver browser factory module there will be like we know right we need to work with multiple browsers chrome you no know, firefox i safari all this stuff right we'll be creating a factory module which will give you the object of the browser depending on your configuration suppose you mentioned firefox it will give you the firefox object driver actually so that you can work with it but we are using a very important concept of java design pattern that is called factory design pattern so that your number of object creation will be less here you don't need to create multiple objects for factory and drivers okay you will be working with one or two objects so that your memory memory consumption or your space consumption or memory everything will be handled very properly while working the framework part as well okay so next part is resource module here your driver files will be there like driver exe file test data everything will be there okay these are the core components about what we will be developing now as per the supporting framework components are there so when we'll be creating the maven project right your pom.xml will be automatically created so we'll be manipulating or like we'll be writing the dependencies one by one on top of that whatever jars we need to work with test ng is running all this stuff right we'll be using logger log for logging purpose will be there will be screenshots folders or directory there will be advanced reporting we'll be using extend report for this there will be extend report test ng report all this stuff you can and we can also go for xslt report as well if you guys feel so that i can show you as well okay and there will be test libraries okay and there will be test scripts obviously right so that's the framework components okay so while we develop we'll know more about them okay but if somebody asks what are the components you are having in your uh, framework you can mention the same and you can explain the same way okay so this is very much helpful i feel so uh, while going for the interview okay okay let's move on to the what are the what is the high level flow of the framework execution so basically we'll be triggering with maven so maven will call your test ng test ng eventually will call your test classes okay and test classes will get some multiple feed for multiple modules one is configuration one is the sources one is best setup okay and all this will feed the stuff in test classes and test class will be having bulky stuff okay uh, having all this you no know, detail data all this objects all it will be having all this and test classes eventually having test methods basically this class will be having all the you no know, stuffs objects all this stuff okay and this 
given to test classes will call test methods okay test methods will be calling each of the page methods and validation methods as well okay uh, i missed out the validation methods part but here you have to mention mark a note that mark a note that you have to use the validation method as well and you'll be collaborating with test data you'll be calling data utils okay to parse and process the data again you have to call the then test method page method will eventually call page object that means web elements okay and it will call the web utils to perform the action on the web elements and the component listener all the stuff right so and others utils as well so basically map to test ng test ng test class test class to test methods and this best set of stuff also will be coming in test classes and test method to, to page method page method eventually calls your elements with the help of Act web action helper like click send keys all this stuff and it will get the data from multiple sources test data with the help of data utils and common utils that's the high level flow of your framework execution so that is also an important question from for your interview so i hope uh, it had helped you guys if you do have any questions suggestions comments okay please put them in the comment box i'll be happy to help okay if and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel okay thank you and have a nice day